now I have rain um, coming to the classes now I am going to uh, tell you the details only about the I am going to tell you tell you the details only about the automation only see if you do uh, without knowing manual also you can learn automation without learning ma uh, manual also you can learn automation and without learning automation also you can learn manual both are completely independent of each other both are completely independent of each other without knowing manual also you can learn automation and without learning automation also you can learn manual both are completely independent both doesn't have any dependency with each other both doesn't have any dependency with each other both doesn't have any dependency with each other now morning this 8 to 9 uh, might be after few days I will shift this batch to 7 to 8 in the morning okay if everyone are okay I will shift this to 7 to 8 will be the permanent timings might be from tomorrow uh, might be from Monday onwards I will shift this to 7 to 8 in the morning so that our permanent timings will be from 7 to 8 only daily one hour of session will be there now I am going to discuss only about the I am going to discuss only about the automation only here as I said I am not going to discuss anything about manual testing I am not going to discuss anything manual testing that's a separate course separate timing separate batch that's completely different I will be starting this manual testing today evening at uh, 5 to 6 will be the timings for that that we'll see we'll talk about that later now I am going to discuss only about the automation only here daily the, uh, the complete course duration for this automation is one and a half month is the course duration one and a half month will be the course duration for this automation one and a half month is the course duration for this automation and every day one hour of session that is morning 7 to 8 will be the session every day one hour of session will be there and whatever the class I teach every day one hour of session will be there whatever the class I teach here I'll record the session whatever the class I am teaching here I'll record the session who is that who is joining now Gayatri have joined with two accounts ok try to manage daily one hour of session will be there for this automation as I said without knowing manual also you can learn automation without learning automation also you can learn manual a little bit of manual part which is required to learn automation that anyhow I will cover that in automation also don't worry about that that's why both the classes are completely independent both the classes will be completely independent here just a minute Swati is struggling to Just a minute, let's see if Swati is struggling to Gayatri, mute your microphone. complete course duration will be one and a half month will be the course duration for this automation every day as I said one hour of session will be there whatever the class I teach I'll record the session I already now I have started recording the session whatever the class I teach I will record the session and I will be giving the video of the session also to you why because why I record the session and I will be giving the video of the session also in the sense when you are learning something our classes will be completely practicals from tomorrow onwards it will be completely practicals when you are learning something practically right you cannot grasp everything into your mind at a time that's not possible to grasp everything into your mind at a time that's why what I do here whatever the notes you take down or whatever the notes I give here everything you cannot grasp into your mind at a time that's why uh, as a best practice what I do here I'll record each and every session and I will be giving the video of the session also to you I'll be recording the session and I will be giving the video of the session also to you and these videos will help you a lot and lot for your revision also as well 
and throughout the course i'll be giving regular notes i'll be giving regular materials i'll be giving regular more notes i'll be giving regular materials all the softwares related to work with this uh, all the softwares which uh, i'll be giving materials all the softwares which is required to work with the selenium which means that uh, from where to download the softwares where uh, how to install how to work on this what is the purpose of each and every software everything pin to pin i will be guiding you very clearly here okay and most of you guys when you have called me you have, uh, you have said that sir i am from mechanical background i am from civil background i am from b pharmacy background or else i am from mba b a commerce background or ba background or some different background i am from completely from non technical will i be able to learn this course and get a job yes 100% sure anyone will be able to learn this and get a job why because i am going to teach you from the starting point onwards starting from the scratch from very beginning onwards i am going to teach this that's why either you know or doesn't know no need to worry start from the basics onwards from very beginning onwards i am going to start here if you keep practicing regularly anyone will be able to learn this you have to put hard work and you have to start learning this until unless you put hard work and learn this you cannot you cannot learn this technically whatever it is required complete end to end part starting from the scratch onwards i will teach you because i have tra trained the people who are from mechanical civil b pharmacy people who doesn't know what is meant by browser also i have taught them and they are working in top mnc's as well now with that confidence i am telling that i can train anyone okay that's why no need to worry about bag which background you are just keep that mindset as said that i am from non technical background and start learning whatever the things i teach here that's more than sufficient for you and this iteration will continue for one and a half month of course and this iteration will continue for one and a half month of course and at the end of the course what i do here i will be making you to work on after at the end of this one and a half month of course i will be making you to work on one real time project completely I, once you are done with this real time project i will totally convert you like how an experienced guy works how an experienced guy works to that level i will train you not as a fresher level where you can keep up to 3 to 4 years of experience and try i'll tell you what projects you have to add into your resume how to try out for see after completing this real time project what i do here is first first and foremost work is i'll take a mock interview for you after finishing the mock interview mock interview if you do good enough in mock interview then what i'll do i'll take um, i'll sit with you and i will prepare uh, we will have one to one session and i will prepare resume for you in that resume i'll help you what kind of project you have to add into your resume what are your roles and responsibilities you have to add into your resume what kind of interview questions you will be getting how to answer that as a fresher or how to answer that as an experienced complete end to end part will be uh, taught you here complete end to end part will be taught to you here that's why either you know or doesn't know start learning here including the project i will be teaching you and 100% sure i can get a job and i can give it to you that depends upon your practice also as well if you practice properly then i can guarantee that i can get a job and i can give it to you because that way i have huge number of openings i have tie up with almost 88 companies where i can refer you to those companies also for the placements sometimes few of the students if they do uh, really extraordinary then what i will be doing is i will be personally referring to my where i work or else in my previous companies wherever i have worked i have the friend circle even for the in that cases also i have referred that depends upon how good you prepare and how how regularly you do the homeworks and all those things i will be giving regular homeworks also to you you have to do those things also okay if you have something in your mind whether we can learn this course either it is easy difficult or whatever pratap teaches is good or bad or something my humble suggestion is listen at least two to three sessions initially later on you can decide whether you can continue this course or not why because in the first day of the class itself i cannot make you to install the selenium and start making you to work on selenium and do all those things why because there are a lot of prerequisites what it is required if you learn those prerequisites first properly if you learn those prerequisites first properly then if you start working with selenium actually selenium is very very easy but most of the people don't do that without knowing the prerequisites itself directly they will be starting stepping with selenium 
without knowing the prerequisites itself directly they will be starting stepping with selenium initially they might feel easy initially they might feel easy later on they will feel lot of uh, difficulty why because they will be not knowing with the prerequisites that's why what i do here first 3 to 4 days i will be teaching you the prerequisites if you are thorough enough with the prerequisites then learning selenium is very easy but most of the people out of curiosity they will jump into the conclusion and they will be starting installing the selenium in the day one itself initially they might feel easy later on they will feel lot of difficulty why because of lagging with the prerequisites that's why i strongly recommend you to learn at least three first at least listen three sessions later on today i am not going to teach you anything just an introduction what we will be having for first one hour from tomorrow onwards i will be starting the actual practical classes from tomorrow onwards okay and um mm, listen few sessions then you can decide okay sir is it better to take the classes online or offline which one seems to be better sir uh, can you please guide us for which one to continue i strongly recommend people to take the classes online because of several reasons what i have faced earlier see it's strong i saw if you want you can come for offline classes also you can come to the institute and sit in front of me and you can listen that's the only change what you will be having but there are some advantages if you take the class online even though if you are taking the classes online you will be able to see my blackboard i am just writing as testing in my blackboard you will be able to see my blackboard okay you will be able to see my desktop whenever you have doubts you can unmute and you can ask you have all the permissions to unmute and ask i didn't block your permissions to unmute you can unmute and ask your doubts in between the class whenever you have doubts or else after finishing the class also if you want to ask some doubts also every one of you have almost every one of you have my personal contact number you can contact me between the uh, during the day time and uh, you can uh, get solved your doubts also my online classes will be more perfect than offline classes okay and that too why i recommend you to take the cl classes online in the sense during the first wave and second wave of covid i faced a small uh, problem in between the uh, first wave and second wave i took the classes offline earlier also i used to take the classes offline only i, I used to take the classes offline uh, they came for offline classes few students came for offline classes they have learned well and they have did a good job and there and they have uh, practiced well and they got the job also finally after the after getting the job the uh, second wave came at the time they said to work from home when they said you to said them to work from home they don't know how to connect over online they know, uh, don't know how to work online and do everything online finally they have lost their job also that's why from that time onwards i strongly recommend anyone to take the classes online only i'll uh, not take anyone to take um, i don't recommend you to take the classes offline if you and that to nowadays there is a floods in bangalore <laughs> in nearby our institute it's completely flooded from past 3 days you are uh, you are seeing that how you are seeing the news also as well that's why i recommend people to take the classes online only if you are taking the classes online everything will be set all right for us only the thing is you have to have a good network get ready of your network and start attending the classes online only that would be better always i say i recommend to anyone to take the classes online and our classes will be completely practicals it will be 100% completely practicals a little bit only theory will be there whatever the practical part i will teach for that i will be giving a little bit of notes that's it nothing beyond that what i will be doing okay and mm, so said listen few sessions then later on you can decide and next coming to the course syllabus this is our core this is our course syllabus oh sorry this today we are going to learn the basics of testing and automation second uh we are going to learn the basics of html tomorrow day after tomorrow we will learn the element locators next to next x path likewise one each day we will cover one each topic likewise here one each day we will cover one each topic okay coming to the basics of java not only one day it will take around 4 to 5 days it will take around 4 to 5 days then you might ask a question sir in that 4 to 5 days will we be able to cover the complete java no we cannot cover the complete java in 4 to 5 days that's not possible to anyone and we don't require complete java first of all because we are not developers we are testers a little bit basic core java concepts is sufficient 
that little bit basic core java concepts i will teach in that 3 to 4 days then with that knowledge you can start stepping with selenium with that knowledge you can start stepping with selenium again in between selenium you will be learning lot of java concepts as well again in between selenium you will be learning lot of java concepts as well and at the end of the course i'll be making you to work on different kinds of frameworks like data driven framework test ng framework hybrid framework with a real time project page object model maven jenkins cucumber all these part are advanced parts in selenium even that also will be covered here even the advanced selenium concepts also will be covered here where you can if you want to keep experience and try these are mandatory things for you you have to do all these things or else it will be quite you cannot crack the uh, experienced interviews okay even that part also will be covered here this is all about our overview about our course guys before we start the session do anyone have doubts guys if you have any doubts you can ask or else we can continue further any doubts okay fine now this is all uh, apart from the timings any other doubts what you have One and a half month for automation. Next, if you want, we I'll be uh, telling you to attend the mock interviews, and I will send you for the interviews. Okay, if you want manual testing, either you can take parallelly during the evening times, or else after finishing automation, also if you want, you can learn that. Or else, first, if you are planning to learn manual, you can do that and go for automation. However, you want, it's your choice. Okay. Okay then, fine. Someone have left. Swati has left. Hi, um, this is Hasani. Yeah, tell me. Wanted to ask you, is it going to be weekday? Or Only weekdays, Monday to Friday. Sure. Only Monday to Friday, and Saturday, Sundays, I will be giving you some homeworks. But this Saturday, Sunday, since it is the starting of the course, you will not have much homeworks. That's why I will take the class. Only this Saturday, Sunday. But normally, I will not be taking the class. Okay. Okay. No more doubts. Say only the timings. Only you had a doubt, and I have did it. What? What will be the fee? What? What? that depends upon country to country there are different country people who will be joining you have to contact me personally for that only for that okay yeah. okay because there are different country people will be there in the class i cannot tell that here hmm. okay mute the microphone guys then um what i need now is uh, okay at the end i will get your mail ids guys don't leave the session without my permission because i need to get all your mail ids to send the videos and syllabus copy and all these things to you at the end of today's session without my permission don't leave the session okay now let us start the session guys we had just finished the introduction now i am going to start what is meant by testing first of all what the word testing means i am not asking anything about automation testing or manual testing or hardware testing or software testing or anything in general in general terms what is meant by testing in general terms what is meant by testing testing is nothing but see for example i am having water bottle and i am having water water see when this water bottle is been manufactured when this water bottle is been manufactured it has to be tested thoroughly it has to be tested thoroughly then only it has to be released into the market blindly as soon as the manufacturer they won't release that what are the different ways how they can test this water bottle sir water bottle seems to be a quite small example give us a better example okay uh, imagine that uh, now there is a car called audi q8 car that's the new upcoming model car in audi okay imagine that i am a automob uh, automobile tester where i am going to test this audi q8 car when the first model of the car is been manufactured when the manufacturer manufacture he also knows how to drive it but directly as soon as he manufacture he will not take a small ride and make sure that everything is working fine and he won't release that into the market that's not the right procedure after the complete manufacturing is done after it is completely developed then it is hand over to the tester to test it tester will test it in a different aspects 
then he will release that into the he will say okay then they will release that into the market what are the different ways how we can test this audi q8 car imagine that now you are uh, working for a company called audi and they have given this audi q8 car for you to test it what are the different test cases you will apply to the car see if i am at an automobile test right what i will do i will take the car drive the car in more than 150 speed or 180 speed even at 150 speed also there should not be any vibrations in the car first one that is called speed test that is called speed test second i'll take the car drive the car and hit the car in more than 80 speed or 100 speed and make sure that impact should happen and airbags has to open and uh, safety equipments has to work fine fire alarms has to ring all these things has to happen that is called crash test first one speed test second crash test third third i will um, fill the car for 50 liters fuel and drive for 500 kilometers i have to get at least a mileage of 10 kilometers per liter that is called economy test economy test fourth i'll go in different speed levels and apply the brakes make sure the brakes are working fine in the next a fifth test case either accelerator is working fine either the clutch is working properly either the gears are working fine either the windows are working fine doors are working fine either the headlights are working fine tail lamps are working fine either the wiper is working fine each and every part of the car has to be tested thoroughly if you keep on writing the test cases for car right there will be hundreds and hundreds of test cases will be there am i correct or not there will be hundreds and hundreds of test cases will be there see as soon as i get the car right if i go and hit the car in more than 80 speed somewhere that is crash test if i do the crash test in the beginning itself if i do the crash test in the beginning itself later on to do the other test cases i cannot keep on asking one each car in that case if i do like that for each and every test case if i ask one each car from the company right company will go into losses in the beginning itself in the starting stage of development of car itself company will go into losses they have to shut down and go home that's not the right procedure first of all that's why what we have to do as soon as we get any product and if they tell you to test it blindly you should not keep on doing the testing that's not the right way first of all what you have to do first and foremost work understand the product clearly how it works what is the mission vision of the project and all this the product everything uh, understand that clearly based on that based on that understand the product clearly based on that start uh, writing the test cases first understand the product second start writing the test cases then third rearrange the test cases which test case has to be tested first and which test case has to be tested next rearrange the test cases based on that uh, sorry after rearranging the test case and prepare the test case document ready first understand the product write the test cases rearrange the test cases and prepare the test case document and get reviewed of the test case from the manager once manager says okay then start executing the test cases and submit the results this is the step by step procedure what you will be doing in testing either it whatever the product you are testing if you are not following the, this is called software testing life cycle if you are not following the prop, if you are not following properly the software testing life cycle right you lose lot more you lose lot of resource okay your company will go into losses and lot more things will happen that's why follow properly the software testing life cycle this is how a car will be tested how any product whatever the product will be tested the same way when it comes to the point of software testing also now until now i have generally said about how a product will be tested the same way when it comes to the point of software testing also whenever any software product is been built whenever any software product is been built it has to be tested thoroughly sir uh, whenever any software product is been built developed not built it is developed it has to be tested thoroughly imagine that i am working for a company called google and i am working for a product called gmail gmail is a product of google right okay i am working for a product called gmail if i want to test the login page of gmail what i can do first i need to open the browser open the url first test case give a wrong username correct password and click on login it should not get logged in second test case give a correct username wrong password and click on login it should not get logged in third test case give a wrong username wrong password and click on login it should not get logged in fourth test case without giving anything click on login it should not get logged in fifth test case give a correct username correct password and click on login it should get logged in first test case wrong username correct password second test case correct username wrong password 
third test case wrong username wrong password fourth test case without giving anything click on login for all these things you should not get logged in even until unless i give a correct username and password to test a small login scenario of this gmail itself i am applying five different test cases to test a small login scenario itself i am applying five different test cases in the same way if i want to test the complete gmail product see the G gmail is having several module if i want to test the complete gmail product let me open this gmail this gmail has several modules inside that this gmail has several modules like uh, so login is one module okay after logging in also there will be compose mail there will be compose mail uh, inbox there are ma there are many modules inside this compose inbox stat snooze send mail mess, uh, hangouts uh, coming to the chat spaces meetings Uh, when it comes to the point of settings there are several settings will be there in settings itself there are several settings will be there if i want to do testing of all this complete product right there will be thousands and thousands of test cases will be there just for a small login in in settings itself there are several settings are there there are several settings are there just to test a small login scenario itself i have five different test cases am i correct if i want to test the complete gmail product if i want to test the complete gmail product there will be hundreds and hundreds of test cases will be there okay hundreds and hundreds of test cases will be there sorry thousands and thousands of test cases will be there imagine that uh, to test this gmail product exactly exactly there are thousand test cases imagine that to test this complete gmail product exactly there are thousand test cases to test this gmail product exactly there are thousand test cases to test this gmail product can i alone sit and test all those thousand test cases within one day if i want to test it even though if i am a manager or a managing director or ceo whomever i might be can i alone sit and test all those thousand test cases no it's not possible i am talking about a manual testing now i am talking about a manual testing now right i alone cannot sit and test all those thousand test cases on an average one employee can test only 30 test cases per day on an average one employee can manually if you are testing one employee can test only 30 test cases per day in that case if there are exactly imagine that if there are 1000 test cases how many employees do i require 1000 divided by 30 is 33.33 which comes around 34 employees i require and i will hire one more spare employee totally i will hire 35 employees totally i will hire 35 employees to do the testing what i will do imagine that if i am a manager what i will be doing i alone cannot sit and test all those 1000 test cases what i will do as a manager i will divide 30 each test case to one each employee in the morning i'll send a mail you test this 30 test case you then test this 30 test case i'll send it to all the 30 employees 35 employees what they will do they will take those test cases and they will start do, uh, testing each and every test case they will take the whole day by evening they will submit the results to me whatever the failed test cases are there i will take those failed test cases whatever the failed test cases are there i will take those failed test cases and uh, for those failed test cases uh, i will tell the developers to fix it developer will fix that the next day when you come again i will tell the testers to test it if it is fit, fixed it's fixed if it is not fixed again i will tell the developers to fix it again i will tell the testers to test it this iteration will happen for 3 to 4 times and finally the product is done if it is done it's done i don't want to keep on doing the same thing again and again okay uh, of course i have to do that again and again if it is done it's done imagine that if this gmail is going to be there for next 50 years or 60 years for next 50 to 60 years also i have to keep on doing the same sort of test case again and again why why i have to do that if i test it once or twice or thrice it's done if the product is done why i have to keep on doing the same set of test case again and again 
Why? Because who is that who has switched on the video? Afrin, don't switch on the video. Network will get lagged if you switch on the video. That's why I'm stopping the video. Okay. For next 50 to 60 years also, I have to hire these 35 employees and I have to tell them to start, keep on doing the same set of testing again and again. Why? What is the reason? Why? Because there will be some or the other updates to the product always. Some or the other updates will keep on happening. Whenever there is a new update which is coming up, whenever there is a new update which is coming up, the existing functionalities also should work fine. Whenever there is a new update which is coming up, the existing functionalities also should work fine. The existing functionalities also should work fine. That's why as a best practice, that's why as a best practice, see, um, imagine that if it is going to be there for next, is it that easy to hire these 35 employees for next 50 years? Do you think so? No, it's not that easy. It's quite expensive. If one employee goes out again, I have to hire a new one. If one goes out again, I have to hire a new one. If myself, if I quit the job also, company has to hire a new new manager on behalf of me. It's not that easy to hire these 35 employees and to maintain this product. That's why what the software experts did is they came up with a strategy called automation. They came up with a strategy called automation. If these 35 employees sits and works for next one month or one and a half month, they can automate these thousand test cases. They can automate these thousand test cases. After automating these thousand test cases, after automating these thousand test cases, we can remove all the 34 employees. We can remove all the 34 employees and only one employee is sufficient to manage those thousand test cases. One employee is sufficient to manage those thousand test cases through automation. See, I'll tell you one small example guys. Earlier, in uh, during 19, before 1950s like that, when they used to manufacture this uh, ambassador cars, Okay, the company will be very big. There will thousands of employees will be there, but hardly they can uh, manufacture one or two cars per day, not beyond that. Because everything they have to do it manually. At the time, there is no automation. But now when you see the Hyundai car company, right? Every 55 seconds, they have to bring one car out, irrelevant of model, whatever it might be. That is the production ratio what they have. Because everything has been automated. No, no human interaction at all will be there. Finally, to start the car, even for that also robots came now. Okay, they, even for parking also, they, they are making the robots. They are not parking the vehicles and to put the cars inside the cargoes also, they are using robots only. Everything has this been automated. Robots are nothing but automation. The same way here also, whatever we are doing manually, whatever we are testing, we are going to write a piece of code and make it to do it through automation just run it and sit idle everything will will be tested automatically that is what we are going to learn here okay now through automation we can save a lot of time lot of after automating these thousand uh, test cases right we can remove all the 34 employees we can remove all the 34 employees and only one employee is sufficient to manage those thousand test cases through automation I am telling through automation. Through automation, we can save a lot of time, lot of manpower will be saved. Lot of advantages are if, there if you go with automation. That's why almost all the companies have literally stopped using manual testing and everyone started switching to automation. That's why people used to tell there is no scope for manual testing, there is no scope. Even if they have openings on manual testing, they will hire automation engineers only. Why? Because in future, if they get the automation project, right, the same employees, they can use it. But if they take a manual testers, they cannot work on automation. Again, we have to hire the, uh, we have to train them. It's a waste of time for company or else we have to remove them and take a new employee. It's quite a uh, risky job. That's why even if they have manual testing openings, also they will hire automation engineers only because they can use it for both. That is why I'm telling, don't give any preference for manual testing. Just learn it. That's it. If you don't know, just learn it because you have to crack the interview. In interviews, they might ask you a few questions on manual testing also. For interview purpose, just go through that and learn it. Okay. But give more preference for automation always. And we are also going to learn completely about the automation only now. When it comes to the point of automation, in automation, there are several tools available like QTP, Selenium, 
RPA sorry RPA Renorex test complete silk test water roads there are many many tools available in the uh, there are many tools available in the software industry okay out of that most popularly used tools are qtp and selenium qtp and selenium qtp is the first automation tool invented in the software industry in the year 1998 they have invented okay and officially they have released in the year 2000 later on in the year 2004 only selenium came into the existence and all the other tools came later see when we see the statistics of around 2004 to 2005 right 2004 to 2005 what happened at the time in the sense Seventy percentage of the companies used to use seventy percentage of the companies used to use QTP at the time. Twenty percentage of the companies used to use Selenium, and ten percentage of the companies used to use other tools. But when we see the statistics of twenty 2020 twenty to twenty twenty one, that is the latest statistics what we have. We didn't get for twenty twenty two yet. Seventy percentage of the companies used to use Selenium. Twenty percentage of the companies used to use QTP, and ten percentage of the companies used to use other tools. See, by seeing the statistics, what we guys have understood, we have understood that more um, most of the companies are using Selenium nowadays. Earlier, most of the people used to use QTP. There are a lot of drawbacks with this QTP. There are a lot of advantages with this Selenium. There are a lot of difference between QTP and Selenium. That is what we are going to learn next. Okay, make a quick note of this. Then we'll learn the. See, when you are attending the class, make sure that you have notebook and pen with you, and make sure that you don't have any background noise also, because I'll be asking the questions from tomorrow. You have to keep on answering the questions, and you have to take down the notes. Trust me that you will carry these notes after get, getting the job also when you go to office also. That is how important my notes will be. Okay, take down this into your notes. Take down this quickly. Then we'll see the difference between QTP and Selenium today. We have another 15 10 minutes. Next, let us see the difference between QTP and Selenium. Don't take down this, listen, I will give you time to take down this later, just listen the session. Selenium QTP. Selenium, it's a open source tool. 
and QTP is a paid tool. What is meant by open source? It's available for free of cost. We don't have to purchase license to use the tool. Whereas QTP, you have to purchase license to use the tool. That's the difference between open source and paid. Selenium supports all the operating systems, whereas this supports only Windows. For example, if you have Mac machine, Mac laptops, or else if you have a Linux operating system, you cannot install that uh, QTP on Mac or Linux because it supports only Windows. Whereas this uh, Selenium, it's a platform independent. If you have Windows, Mac, or Linux, or whatever the kind of laptop and operating system, whatever you have, it will work. This Selenium supports all the major major browsers whereas this supports only IE browser that is Internet Explorer browser Internet Explorer browser see for example you are work working for a company called Flipkart in that uh, your client Flipkart client tells you to test that application on all the browsers and give the results Normally, customers will demand you to test it on all the browsers and give the results if they are developing an application. In that case, if you are using QTP, right, you cannot test it in all the browsers. You can test only in IE. The remaining browsers, you have to test it manually and you have to give the results. Whereas this, it supports almost all the major browsers like Opera, Safari, Firefox, Chrome. All these browsers it supports. Edge browser, all these things it supports. Whereas the sub QTP supports only IE browser. If you know Java, you can start writing the Selenium code. If you know Python, you can start writing the Selenium code. If you know C Sharp, Ruby, Perl, PHP. If you know any one of these programming language, you can start working with Selenium. Where else if you want to work with QTP, must ensure you should know VB scripting. Or else first learn VB scripting, then start working with this uh, QTP. And this VB scripting is an outdated programming language. VB scripting is an outdated programming language. It doesn't support the latest version of uh, Windows. Lot of problems are occurring with this VB scripting. Lot of problems are occurring with this VB scripting. And uh, that's why it's not good to go with that. Because you if you are having Windows 11, then you cannot install that uh, VB scripting. In that case, you cannot uh, install that QTP also in that. It supports very outdated, pro whereas Java, Python, these are updating day to day. Again, most of the people used to have a confusion. Sir, is it good to go with Java with Selenium or Python with Selenium or C Sharp with Selenium, which is the best choice? I strongly recommend you to go with Java with Selenium. Even I do give training on Python with Selenium. I should not uh, blame between each other. But I have to tell you the fact what happens. It is better to go with Java with Selenium. Why? Because Selenium tool itself is built with Java only. If you are going with Python with Selenium, again you have to know how to customize it according to Java and how to use it. It is double the work what you will be doing. That's why it is better to go with Java with Selenium. Okay, no sir, still I hate Java. I want to go with Python. If you tell like that, right? After learning the course, when you are looking out for a job, right? Out of 100 jobs, 90 jobs will be there on Java with Selenium. 90 jobs will be there on Java with Selenium. Only 10% of the jobs will be there on Python with Selenium or C-Sharp with Selenium or any other thing. Okay, 90 jobs will be there on Java with Selenium. Only 10% of the jobs will be there on Python with Selenium or C-Sharp with Selenium. That's why it is better to go with Java with Selenium. The size of the software is just 28 MB, whereas the size of the software is 1.5 GB. Okay, if you want to install this uh, QTP, right, a minimum of 2 GB RAM should be there in your laptop or else you cannot install that. Because it, this itself, QTP itself is locked by 1.5 GB. You're, you should have a high-end configuration laptops at least. Whereas, if you have hardly half a GB of RAM into your laptop, that's more than sufficient because it, it has only 28 MB. Even my laptop is only a uh, 1 GB laptop, only, but it works fine. Because I don't want that much high-end configurations. Most of the people used to ask me, Sir, I want to buy a laptop. Which one to buy? Any laptop is okay. That's the advantage with Selenium again. Okay? These are all the advantages of Selenium when compared with QTP. Even though I get it for free of cost, I have these many advantages. Then why people will go for QTP? That's why almost all the companies have literally stopped using other tools. Everyone started switching to Selenium. And we are also going to learn completely about Selenium only. Okay, make a quick note of this guys.